Tennessee senator, member of the House Judiciary, Commerce and Armed Services Committee's Marsha Blackburn. Senator, it's good to have you this morning. Thanks very much for being here. Good to be with you. Thank you. So what do you say to your colleague, Kamala Harris, that this hearing puts lives at risk? Oh, we have been doing hearings with this hybrid method of doing hearings. She can attend virtually, which I understand she's going to do. Others are going to be in the hearing room. I'm looking forward to having Judge Barrett before us and getting her confirmed and having her as the ninth justice on the Supreme Court. What kind of questions are you expecting her to get, Senator? Tell me about the content you know, that you expect to come out of this hearing. Yeah, one of the things we know is that they are going to go after her for her religion, for being a woman of faith. But we also know, Maria, that the left regularly goes after women who are on the political right because they're pro-life, pro-family, pro-religion, pro-business, pro-military. We see it happen all the time. Now, my colleagues, are they should be excited that out of 164 American citizens who have come before this committee to be considered to be a justice on the Supreme Court, that for the fifth time in this history, there is a female who is highly regarded by Democrats and Republicans who has a great resume, but they're not. Because if they had their way, only certain women, those who meet their litmus test, would be allowed into that hearing room to be considered to be a Supreme Court justice. And because she is from the political right, if you will, of the spectrum and not from the left, they are going to try to demonize her for her faith. They are going to try to say that uh, there are things in her past, in her writings, in her opinions that they consider to be inappropriate. And they want diversity except diversity of viewpoint or diversity of opinion. Mm -hmm. What what do you think in terms of the votes? Do you believe you have the votes right now oh, to yes. confirm Judge Barrett? Yes. Yes, we do. We think we have the votes. I think we're in pretty good shape on that. Okay. So let me ask you about voting for stimulus. The White House officials are calling for Congress to pass a limited coronavirus relief bill using leftover money from the Small Business Loan prog Program. Negotiations on a broader plan obviously have met resistance uh, what's your take in terms of whether or not we get a deal done? President Trump spoke with me this weekend about the importance of reopening the economy. Here's what he said. What do you want to do in terms of your policies in a second term, sir? Well, the first thing we have to do, Marie, is open up our country. You can't keep all these states closed up, the Democrat states, and they're not doing well. And uh, the country is doing well. We're looking like a super V. But, uh, you know, despite the fact that New York has to open up, New York's like a ghost town. New York is very sad what's going on there and and other places. But the fact is that you have to open up uh, Wisconsin. You have to open up North Carolina and Pennsylvania. We want another case there about opening it up because it's unconstitutional what these people are doing. Your, your thoughts. What is keeping keeping a deal from getting done, Senator? Well, I tell you, the president is precisely correct in what he has said. And what is keeping a deal from being done is the Senate put our bill on the floor a couple of weeks ago, which would have repurposed the leftover money from the CARES Act, would have done a second round of PPP, increased unemployment, money for testing, vaccines, money for getting children back to school, because people want to go back to work, children want to go back to school. Now, on that bill, every single Democrat in the U.S. Senate voted no. They didn't vote for cloture. They didn't vote to get on the bill. Why was that? Because they want the issue. They want to keep people pretty much locked in their house and the economy locked down. And it is so unseemly 
that Joe Biden says if he won, there would be a national mask mandate. He is not looking at getting the economy reopened. And I find that to be just so disrespectful of millions of Americans who are saying, we want to go back to work in Tennessee. I hear this all the time. People are so pleased that our economy is back in gear, that they are going back to work, that children are going back to school. And there is a return to normalcy in their communities. Children are playing sports and people are ready to get back to business, back to work. Yeah, one of the one of the issues that Lindsey Graham brought up to me yesterday was the fact that the package that the Democrats are putting forth does not include liability protection. And he says you cannot right. open an economy without having liability protection where businesses will be protected from people saying, well, I got sick, I'm suing you. That's one issue. Lindsey Graham also said that the plan that the Democrats have put forth have all of this money to illegals. Do you agree with that? Is that one of the main issues, stopping something from getting done? Because he said it wasn't about the price, that they want $3 trillion, $2 trillion. It was more about how the money is being allocated. Well, that is true, because what they're trying to do is bail out the blue cities and the blue states. I mean, look at where Schumer and Pelosi are from. And New York and California are two of the states who are begging the U.S. government for billions of dollars because they have mismanaged their budgets and their pensions. So, yes, that is a sticking point. Liability is another one. And Chairman Graham worked with me during the CARES Act trying to get liability protections. You know, so many of our entertainment industry need that. Our venues need that. They cannot open their doors. We have companies that cannot open their doors until, until they get it. And Maria, this is why many of our states moved forward with the liability protection this year on their own because the federal government was not doing it and Congress wasn't doing their job. But Pelosi and Schumer are going to protect the trial lawyers who do not want those liability protections in place. So we're going to continue to push for that. Our bill we put on the floor a few weeks ago would have provided that necessary liability protections so that employers can safely reopen their doors. I understand. All right. We will we will leave it there. Senator, are you expecting the kind of fireworks this at, at this week uh, for Judge Barrett that we saw for the hearing uh, for Brett Kavanaugh? My hope is that our Democratic colleagues are going to choose to be more respectful of the Senate and of our processes. All right. We will leave it there. Senator, great to see you this morning. We'll be, of course, watching Senator Marsha Blackburn.